as I begin recording. Who can tell you what ha who can tell me what happened last time? So much RP. So much RP. So much RP. All the RP. Mm -hmm. RP beyond RP. I'm a little boggled right now from my last session, so I can't remember. Really RP. Well, somebody. That's it, man. RP. It, 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 <clears throat> we no, left, I'm... like we left from what's his face's place. Uh, Hans. Hans. Yeah, Sable opened up. Balthazar and Siren went off to their own thing for a little bit regarding Siren's or Balthazar's sword. Balthazar <clears throat> got a new deal. Uh, or made a new deal so he can suck the, the minds out of other people and make them comatose. Uh, Nero learned more things about being a blood hunter. Um, I learned a lot. Yeah. You also learned about consent. Also. Yep. She had she had to be told again. Um, <clears throat> there's we went on uh, as we were traveling. Uh, we were we were doing pretty doing pretty well. We stopped. Uh, night watches went through, and it just so happened that on Balthazar's watch. Some uh, individuals were like, you know what? Let's try to ambush these peoples. And it did not go well. It, it did not go well for them. Uh, so Balthazar kills Bob. Bob, uh, no. <laughs> poor Bob. Uh, and that's when yeah, that was his name. You see, Greg. That's when B Balthazar <laughs> killed Greg. Greg. Gregory. Uh, try again. <laughs> uh, that's poor Balthazar killed Phil. Um, <laughs> Rico. <laughs> uh, his, his, face? His, his, his name was Doran. Doran, that, yeah, that's right, Doran. <laughs> I was gonna get there eventually. Did you know why we couldn't remember it? Because he was so boring. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he was boring. Um, <laughs> and why don't you have that as on Sirenscape? Anyway, need need rim, need a rim shot on Sirenscape. Mm -hmm. Um. And so Doran, poor old Doran, died. <clears throat> Balthazar alerted everybody. Um, Siren came out of the tent naked. And then there were four naked sirens. Uh, Grunka was angry that he got woken up. So as, uh, as homeboy... <laughs> as homeboy bandit leader started going on his soliloquy, his monologue, drunk it through a javelin at him. And probably fuck told you. him to go fuck himself. Um, <laughs> which was fantastic. Siren, oh, yes. the, uh, the the siren harem uh, went up to the bandit leader, was playing coy, tried to, and then sucked some of his soul out. Several times. Um, yeah, yeah, he did not appreciate that. And then, chaos fucking ensued. Uh, a bunch of dogs died. A bunch of bandits died. Sable managed to save three? Two. 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 Oh, yeah, two. because. Yeah, because. The youngest two of the bunch. Well, it didn't. No, no there, no, was, yeah, there three. was three yeah, because he. Right, three. Yeah, because he kicked the guy in the ass, just like, get the fuck out of here. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then Siren, who earlier, like, when the band was just like, you'll just have your corpses left. And she was just like, I can work with corpses. After the bandit leader died, she raised him as a zombie. And just to prove her point. And Balthazar got mind meld. There's mind drain. Um, and if I remember correctly, people who didn't need to long rest or didn't, like, if combat didn't necessarily ruin their long rest recharge abilities. They were just gonna keep going while the rest of us slept and finished our long rest or something like that. That was an idea, but I don't know if we came to a consensus about that yet. Okay. Oh no. In that case, that's kind of where we left off. Everyone went back to, to sleep, okay. spelled our rifle through bodies. 
Sauron put the zombie bandit leader outside the tent to guard while she went back to sleep. You did miss a, key, a few key de uh, key details as, uh, in that as well. Um, I think uh, I think it was um, I think it was Gronka that uh, saw uh, two red pinpoints of light during it uh, in the in the forest during his watch. Oh, that's uh, yes, right. And I, thought, and I thought those were the dogs, so that's why I did bring it up. But, but we don't. Yes, that probably that. would be. No, nope. well, I mean, I thought Maybe. that was the the mastiffs that were there for the fight. That's why I was saying that. Undead mastiffs. Oh yeah, they were undead. Good call. Really? Yeah, he no, had. They were just regular something. mastiffs. I think it was something no, else. No, he, he was, was talking the about the red eyes. The implication yes. was that something. Grunka saw red eyes. Told Neil about it. Neil saw them again. Went out to actually follow them, found a blood trail that was heading west? East. Or was it east? east? East. And she got the distinct feeling of undeadness in the air. And no, and no footprints back. either. No footprints, so whatever it was was floating. Or was jumping from tree to tree, or something. Who knows? Yes, we had so, some nice character conversations where we learned more about Sao's past and mm -hmm. uh, Nero growing up and also old friends of Bellum as well, so past there as well. So much, Indeed. much more. Oh, so, also uh, Balthazar tentacles. Oh yeah, Balthazar yeah. tentacles. This is true, this happened. So, as we, as we come back to where we left off, I see a new border. So do I. It's nice. Leaves, yeah. So, you all come back to consciousness as morning comes. Uh, if, uh, although it would be morning, uh, though you guys lay, you guys had a had a lay in to uh, to heal up any any extra damage that, that any of you may have taken uh, over the previous night. Uh, the wind is, is fairly fairly chilly. <laughs> As you wake up on the uh, the, the foothills of the uh, of the mountains to the jaw thrust. Question. And, uh, yep. Sorry, continue. Oh, go it was ahead. Just a party. It, was a, it was just a question to the party, like, what did we actually want to do? Did we want to have those without spent resources continue travel, or did we all just want to have a lane? Th that would be a really bad idea, because lane. then somebody would be a day's travel ahead. Right, well, if we're all in, we're, we should all agree no, on I that. think he means, like, Leon isn't sleeping inside the cart. So, just for reference, uh, Here's your, oh. here's your, uh, tent. There's your fancy tent. <laughs> oh god, you finally no. get to see it. Wow. <clears throat> With a fabulous pink fire and everything. <clears throat> oh no. Mm, yes. Okay, so, Vellum didn't use any resources. Who else did? Or doesn't need to? Uh, Sao did use uh, a resource, but I can uh, recharge that uh, at some point else. Okay. Yeah. I guess Grunka so raged, so... And you all used... a spell. No, I mean, that's down to you if you want to sleep, is the thing. It's up to you. Probably, yeah. yeah sleep yeah. somewhere warm. And there's your tokens. Oh. There you go, just, just place yourselves wherever you like. <clears throat> That's the old siren token. Oh right. The old siren token. Well, you can just drag. Dra you can drag yourselves on if you want. The background is different now. Uh, but yeah.
yes. Um, Vellum and Sao. I think that's... Did, did Grunker, did you say? Or did, does Grunker need to recharge his rage? Uh, yeah, he has one rage. And he needs to long rest for that. Okay, so you you can sleep in. So so basically just Sao and Vellum. Yeah. Alright, cool. Balthazar, as you, uh, as you as you come outside, you are immediately met with... Uh, Previous um, once living body of the, uh, of the of the captain that you slew. <laughs> She's just standing there absent-mindedly. You can see part of his arm is uh, part of his arm is a little singed from the uh, from the r remainder of the fire, which has now gone out from the previous night. So yeah, are you sure you're recording everything now? Uh, yes, I am recording. Okay, good. Standing there like a... Like a vegetable. <laughs> good old watchdog. Well, he did his job. You know, it's not, um... It's not too bad of a watchdog. We could use more of these. Then maybe we wouldn't get um, very poor ambush jobs done on us. Would you prefer good ambush jobs? No. That's why we need more of these. Mm. Look over mm. your shoulder, and there's the pile and pile of. of, of Multiple bandit corpses just slapped onto one another. <laughs> well, I don't think they'll be able to follow the cart quite as well as uh... Uh, yes, perhaps at a later time. But for now, I just like this one. It reminds me of. Failure. <laughs> All right. Very well. I see no problem in keeping just the one as a pet. By the way, did we sleep in? <laughs> uh, or, yes. It sounds like it's okay. it's it's. It's fairly overcast, it's difficult to tell the time of day, but you estimate it to be around maybe 10 o'clock. Okay. That's not too bad. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, in that case... Do you see a uh, sort of... You do see a, a kind of glimmer of sunlight to the to the east. But that's about it. Well, Siren is going to basically just, you know, get dressed, walk out, um, and take in the the natural splendorous gloom, <clears throat> and then take note of the hold, and she's going to put a furred coat on. I guess the same fucking furred coat that's a pimp coat that Balthazar got her, but still. <laughs> yeah, this is warm. Mm. It's finally the right weather for Balthazar to put on his fucking elaborate coat of just needlessly <laughs> gaudy. This pimpness, yeah. yeah. Needless excess. I wouldn't say entirely needless. He does need to make a good impression. Maybe not to this fucking rock of a mountain, but, you know, to a rock of a dwarf. Mm. I digress. Let's not be cold. Yeah. So, yeah. so Siren kind of bundles up, and, uh... She's going to... look kind of around. Uh breakfast 
far as this brunch. What will we be having? Or will we just eat on the road? Uh, I say just eat on the road. Doesn't matter, eat something in the cart. Mm. Okay. And Theron's gonna make her way to the cart. And bloop. Okay. Back up my tent. Meander over. Good morning. We shall be leaving fairly soon. We shall name him Bob. Sal, <laughs> Sal looks at uh, Balthus, uh, sort of groggy, and sort of rubbing her own arms a bit after the fucking dog bites. Uh, that will be good. Let's get itch later. Yeah, we should keep moving and. Uh, I'm not in the mood for talking. Well, you don't have to talk to pack up your tent. Just get out. Before I kick you. What about Nero? Just kinda gonna squint a little at the vague threat. And just say, fuck it, it's not worth it. And with that, Sal's gonna pack up her tent and awake Nero gently. This is so cold. Yeah. <laughs> and Sal is gonna wrap her own coat around Nero, which is very large. But warm. Uh, thank you. Are we hanging off? Yeah. You should probably pack up your tent. Oh, okay. And. Pack some tent. Back. Sorry about that. <laughs> I was only gone briefly. Like, a minute. So, did I miss anything? People waking up. Just packing up. Right, so basically everyone else is gonna. I don't know, are they catching up on sleep while we're moving, or is this just implied that we slept in? We slept in. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Right. Away with level of exhaustion. <clears throat> yeah. The night that previously was somewhat restless because of the uh, the wind chill that's uh, actively beginning to set in now. And um, as day 3 of 18 arrives, you uh, prepare for the next leg of your, journey, of your journey. You all pack up and begin to make your way off. Leaving poor Bob behind. <laughs> Hey, Bob's coming with. Bob can Zombie. Up, can he keep up with the car? I don't know how fast the cart moves. How fast does it? Ooh, horses. How, fa how fast does the car move? Uh, about as fast as a horse can pull it. That doesn't tell. Answer the question! Uh, probably not. He only moves 20 feet per round. <laughs> then he's getting so left behind. So if he moves double, that's 40 feet. Every six, so I don't know actually. How fast does a fucking cart? Hold on. Google, quick! Da, 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 da. Uh, so yeah, pull Bob. We could just tie him to the back and drag him along. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. He's on that, he won't care. Bob, just Bob. Bob just sort of, just sort of, um, shuffling along like. <laughs> Do you have to bring that thing? It's a bit, it's a bit unnerving. No, I don't. But I am. 
any reason. I like him. Well, every scale on my body is telling me to dis to absolutely murderize that thing again. I'm just not even like paying attention. Just not even paying attention to anyone, just trying to, sh kind of shambling, trying to keep up with the car, uh, jerky, uneven kind of movements without, uh, without much regard for, yeah, you know, the, the limitations of this, of this, uh, of this once, once mortal body. <laughs> you know, you're gonna have to get rid of it eventually, right? I mean, so. So you want to walk into the next town we come into with that? No, because the next town we're going to come into is quite a distance away. I just want to walk into the next combat we have with that. Whatever. Just don't go make an it I'm sorry to disappoint you, but it will be. So, so just eyes the uh, small cart window and just shakes her head. So, the third day is pretty uneventful for the most part. Do you ascend the steps of the draw thrust? Uh, the green of the, the greenery of the of the pine forests of Cairn Arm kind of turn into arid uh, shrubbery and. The grass kind of gives way to gravel and shingle and loose dirt. Uh, you see the the imposing silhouettes of the uh, of the mountains through the the approaching fog. The uh, gradual slopes ascend higher and higher. And eventually, yeah. night comes once again. You find a, a place to bed down for the evening in the form of a, a, a nearby shallow cave. Uh, and it just needs you all to make a. Uh, you all to make uh, perception checks just for this night. Perception. <laughs> oh. Nope. Hold the roll, which I am not very good at. Well, Sal sees Jack shit because she's busy trying to not itch on her wounds. It's just rabies. You're fine. Probably look at that. Is that true? One second, Sirenscape's being a laggy. Fucking... Come on. Poor Sal. He's gonna have those little sort of barbs on the back of uh, Nero's arm of jabbing and stabbing. Jesus Christ, what the fuck is Sirenscape doing? Being amazing. It it's, nice. it's, it, it's a good application, but it takes so long to load some of this shit. No, I'm sure it'll get fixed over time. I forget, uh, do you have... Because I know you can download libraries to your computer. Are you using... Yeah. Are you using those, or are you just pulling up from their servers? Um, I guess I'm pulling up from their servers. Yeah, because I know, like, if you have, uh, like, if you have, like, libraries saved to your computer, it goes a lot faster. Hmm. <laughs> like, if you have stuff you frequently use. All right, I need to figure out how to do that after this session. Okay. So, the night goes by pretty uneventfully, for the most part. <laughs> uh, Grunka, uh, yeah. during your during your um, your shift, your uh, your watch, is this is this cold sensation in your chest? Which is distinct from the surrounding wind chill. Oh. <clears throat> oh. 
Grunky kind of bundles up a bit in his big fur coat, big furry jacket. As you're, uh, as you're doing that, and you hear something, a feminine voice, uh, distorted and faint. Because I ears are kind of twitching a bit. Release me. No. <laughs> 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 it's just like as a player I think I know what this is and it just makes me laugh so much yeah what makes me laugh about this is the fact that Grunke while not stupid is not exactly smart mm. so he has the basic answers I really hope he doesn't find like a magical uh, like a sentient weapon or something oh god No. Go away. <laughs> you kind of think on that for a moment, and the cold sensation fades once again. And the rest of your watch goes by unhindered. So, the morning comes once again, with the, uh, the interests of time here. Uh, the next few days are spent travelling through... Uh, travelling through arid, kind of rocky and uh, unfor unforgiving terrain. Also, <clears throat> by the way, I found out that carts moving at a normal pace move 30, like 30 feet around. So yeah, Bob can totally keep up. Because okay. <laughs> Bob's so you're, awesome. so you're saying Siren is not going to take any watch. She's just going to have him do the thing. I mean, Siren wouldn't be taking watches anyway. Like she hasn't this last she hasn't these last few nights. But there are there are the eyes, the ever watchful eyes of Bob, Bob Zombie. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Bob you know, Bob. Digging through ditches, burning through witches. Beer before so, as you're traveling across the road here, uh, curiously you've not seen a a single merchant wagon, uh, escorted carriage, or anything of the sort while you've been traveling in the Ghostway. Sometimes the road itself seems to fade into obscurity, other times kind of require you to find an another path due to road blockage by a landslide long since past. Uh, overall, uh, it's, it's the same landscape of looming mountains and daunting hills and cliffs where you sometimes need to need to steer clear of. That how, bad, do you, huh? how do these passing traders feel about Bob? You said there aren't any passing traders. There aren't oh, any, aren't no. any. Sorry, I misheard it. Must turn my music down then. Yeah. The nights are spent among yourselves in uh, ever decreasing temperatures the, the further up north you go it's it's uncomfortable um, but oh go ahead one thing i want to do as you note that things are starting to get more obscure for road paths mm -hmm. i'm going to deliberately start leaving marks okay Make so sure what, what kind of marks me. um i just take a knife and either into the nearest a uh, tree that may be there. Uh, if there's a pile of rocks, I can stack up on one of those balanced rock, you know, formations so it's visibly yeah. man balanced. 
Okay. So, uh, simple enough to do. Uh, probably doesn't really doesn't require a skill check there. So it's yeah. The most basic indicators of that people. Yeah. Maybe even scratching an arrow in the dirt. Mm-hmm. But so, uh, that's it. Sorry. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. And Grunke is trying to uh, to uh, keep their their moving along marked on the map, so yeah. that he is like keeping check on where they are. Okay. <laughs> and they're just driving so, and trying to stay warm. Yeah. Again, gr uh, simple enough to do, Grunke. Yeah. Your, uh, your 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 crudely drawn map. Yeah, a map boy. Yeah. Map boy. Map boy. No, the, the, the temp boy. temperatures temperatures um are bearable, and as a result of uh, y your night your nights of sleep are only just bearable with the coats you've uh, many of you have purchased. Uh, the night sounds are only accompanied by the howling winds, the occasional sounds of wildlife, the the call of an eagle, the the howling of a distant wolf. Uh, the nearby flutters and squeaks of bats leaving their cave. Uh, one uh, one night, bat enters your cave, kind of flutters about idly for a moment, and flutters off. That's about it. Thankfully, you've scared off any bandits dumb enough to mess with you the nights before. Good old Bob. Yeah. Yeah. Especially thank, especially thanks to the uh, the intimidating presence of Bob. Yep, Bob Zombie. Bob Zombie. <coughs> oh, I just oh, now realized why you named him Dab. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, I am like, since it is becoming obvious that Nero isn't doing well for this, <laughs> as Philip was being made for this weather. Uh, Siren is going to start offering, like Nero to sleep with her and Balthazar just kind of between two warm bodies. <clears throat> okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. I feel like... You got the nice warm fire. And with that, she just kind of blows into her hand with a little bit of fire to heat him up. <laughs> Will be yeah, nice. So, so now Nero is sleeping between Saren and Balthazar, like like a small child sleeping between parents. A very small, scaly, cold child. Yeah, but you're cold-blooded, so you get warmed up. Yes. I imagine that Nero's actually probably pretty sluggish, just in general in this like colder weather. Oh like yes. How, like, how do kobolds? Because I know with reptiles, cold-blooded reptiles, um, <clears throat> sunbathe. Uh, well, heat like when up. they're cold, like their movement, their actions, all get. Hold on. Fuck. Oh, she does have that like fur on, which is helpful. Indeed, but there's still um quite a bit exposed. Like um, the head's exposed. Mm -hmm. If I can find a token. No, no, we're getting this. Basically, the only thing that's covered is the core chest. Yeah. And also, just to have... Like, particularly at night, just so she's not sluggish and slow to respond. Because cold-blood reptiles, like, if they get too cold, they basically move in slow motion. And I don't want Nero to be kind of caught unawares whenever, like, if something were to happen. Yeah. <clears throat> like, imagine this is something that having traveled like in the black hand before and probably gone through multiple types of weather that she like she knows this is something that you have to watch out for for Nero yeah. don't want to don't want to have her hibernate mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so tired gonna sleep till warmer Blech. and then Zach by the way Calum's like... gonna be keeping his uh, the, the wagon on the wagon and carriage locked after that yeah and deeply just to the side door. Okay. Is he also going to sleep with pants on? 
Gentleman. I'm making shoes. <laughs> Gronk is making shoes? Yeah. I didn't know Gronko was a cobbler. That's awesome. <laughs> Gronko wears shoes? No. He just makes them. Like okay, clown good. shoes. <laughs> Big old clown shoes on goblin feet. He's so, a very angry cra He's a very angry clown then. Ugh. So, for the next few nights, uh, I need everyone to make a perception check. Right. Um... Oop. A little distracted by the smell that Bob is no doubt creating by this point. Nah. <clears throat> like, the, uh, the magic keeps him from running further. It's magic, I ain't gonna- I ain't gonna explain shit. I mean, as long as it stops him from rotting, I ain't gonna question it. Good. As long as the flesh isn't slowing off its bones. Thankfully, the- I mean, it the might cold- off the cold- eventually. the cold wind chill is- is, uh, keeping it at bay for the most part. You do- you do sense hey. this, um, li this lingering faint odour of decay, but nothing too strong. It's enough to make me roll a ten. <laughs> mm. Don't blame Bob for this. Bob's been keeping you safe. No, he hasn't. <laughs> yes, he has. Didn't hear earlier the banter's like, "Fuck, that's Bob." <laughs> like, if it can happen to him, it can happen to us. So yeah, just saying. So uh, the night goes by again, pretty much in uh, uninterrupted. Uh, Siren, you you hear, you know. The usual sounds of wildlife, but uh, again the distant, distant howl of a wolf, uh, a call of an eagle, but that's about it. Hmm. Majestic. It's the uh, the sun comes up once more to the sixth day. You, you eventually um, traveling traveling along. The uh... yeah, there we go. So, traveling along the uh, the coastline of uh, Dragon's Mouth Bay, the uh, the Gulf between Mayland and the Isle of Cartha, the heart of the Commonwealth. We made Climate it here. The climate here grows um, colder the further northward you go. You see the very first brushes of snow amidst the uh, sparse shrubbery. Uh, of course. Why can't we ever go somewhere nice? Maybe later. Seeing the world means dealing with stuff like this. Yeah. Hmm. Not too bad. At some point in time. I don't know. We'll have to find you a means to stay warm. Like outside of sheer bodily warmth. And, um, jackets. Hmm. So, you have, um,. Means of uh, engineering and magic. Can you possibly have a or create a wand? Uh, like internally warming jacket? A coat for new? So it's not just main containing the heat, but providing it? Possible. I have thought about something similar, but currently I do not have any materials that I could see work with it. Mm. Mm. Okay. Perhaps. I don't know if this will even help, but. For next, next time we camp, I'll. I'll try something. Okay. Sorry, just pets near on the head. Like, you'll be fine. You'll be warmed up in no time. Yay! 
So you continue up north. Uh, it's also here that you kind of hear the faint, uh, the faint sound of, of of rushing water, which goes louder and louder as you approach. Oh, that's not good. Uh, to the west, you see between the mountains a very, very distant valley, uh, partially obscured by fog, which seems to seems to have been naturally carved out by a series of rushing rapids. The river twists and turns from somewhere un unknown and ends in, in a waterfall which kind of plummets down into nowhere. And you're approaching what looks like a, a, a gorge. Yeah. I look for any means to cross, like a bridge, or a bridge. Uh, you do see off to the side, quite some distance away. You're still approaching it for now. Uh, over the over the hills, uh, looks like a lonely, lonely-looking rope bridge. Hmm. Hopefully, there'll be something more sustainable. Uh, it, she, it, like, pats the cart and like looks I'll say around. You, I'll say you make a perception check. No, yeah, okay. You know what? I'm going to use my inspiration for advantage. Yeah, okay. Alright. Fifteen. So, Fifteen. Um, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's hard to tell details from this distance, but as you kind of peer closer, kind of shielding your eyes from the, from the, uh, from the hazy sun. Um, looks like it's, it's, uh, seen years of disuse and lack of upkeep. It looks, I mean, it looks like it could hold quite a number of people, but it's, again, it's hard to tell. It's, it seems fairly wide. Hmm. Oh, rope bridge. Okay. I thought you were talking about just like, there's a rope across no, Not no, like a rope. wooden bridge. Okay, gotcha. A, like a, a wooden rope. suspension bridge. Yeah, a, fa a fairly okay. wide-looking rope bridge. Okay, gotcha. Sorry, I had to step away for a second. As you are, as you as you approach it, um, you do see that the waterfall drops off. It seems into like a, a two two hundred foot drop into the gorge, uh, which um. You can see now the bridge itself seems to span uh, 50 foot across the gorge. Uh, the gorge itself, uh, it's it's comparatively narrow. The river seems to have carved this this large formation of um, who knows how many years. I was muted. Good job, me. It happened. How the, the uh, traders supposed to get through here? So looking at the bridge. Uh, make, mm, I'll say you make a perception check, Vellum. It was more of a remark, but sure, there you go. This this rope bridge uh, seems to have, have seems to have had its fair share of use, even if even if it, even in its uh, current state, you can see, uh, you, you can see the, uh, the the rope is fairly thick, and so are the uh, so are the the planks along it. It's, uh, but, but but again, kind of closer examination of it. Uh, it looks like some of the planks may be subjected to, uh, you know, the elements, rot, various uh, kind of cracks here and there. Right. It's, um, it, lo it, it looks sturdy, but you might need to be careful. Right. Uh, I might want to look this over before we try anything, but that's... What do you want to think? I'm fine just so long as you don't go for another swim. Yeah, that's uh... I'm more worried about the drop than this one. Yeah. I do agree, the bridge looks... fine... to a certain point, but I doubt they can take the whole car. But without at least some risk. So, do you want to? You might give me a hand and try and make this a bit more sturdy, I guess. 
Mm. Might take I'll a... give you a hand. Thanks. Don't know how this might take a bit though, so get comfortable. That was more to everyone, but yeah. Okay, so w w what are you doing? Basically, <coughs> uh, Sao and Velum are going to. I guess we'll go along the bridge ourselves and sort of look for the weaker points to so we can maybe fix them up or reinforce them or anything because sounds got pending and balance good for okay the so I will say uh, if you if you're just testing for like weak points uh, you know feeling around with your feet I will say make an investigation check but yeah does, it, does that plan sound all right with you duck yep so both of us investigation or just one uh, I was well, either both, or you can have roll one roll with advantage. Um, I, I, I think Sal's the more keen observer, being the sharp shooter, sharp shooter. So Vel will help using the help I'll, action. I'll roll with advantage then. <laughs> <laughs> this is the second time I've rolled something, and it's the same on both. Well, so are you arguing with the 18? 19, 19, 19. 19. No. Nope. Because last time I did an ins investigation, I got two natural 20s. <laughs> nope, quite <a> bit. <laughs> So, uh, it, it's it's not it's not exactly possible to keep uh, hold of both both sides of the of the uh, rope bridge because it's fairly wide. It, yeah, it, it's definitely made for you know carts and and other you know escorted caravans to to make their way across this bridge. But likely since, you know, not not many have used the ghost way for quite some time. This is this bridge has seen many years of, of disuse and uh, lack of maintenance. Mm -hmm. uh, you kind of um, hold on to one one end of the bridge, kind of feel your way across. The first few steps seem fa fairly sturdy. You get to about the tenth plank in, and. Uh, if, uh, as you're stepping on on this plank, you feel a crack beneath your feet. Mend. I test the crack a bit to gauge whether it's a minor or more serious. Not, you know, pushing down on it, but sort of... Um, giving it a... Yeah... Okay, do you kind of push down your feet again? You feel more of a crack, give way. It looks like it's kind of now um, kind of wilted to one side a bit. I mend that shit. Okay. Bonus action, baby. Yeah, ain't, gotta wait t ain't gotta wait ten minutes for the shit. Almost as, as if in like a like a reversal of time, the uh, the the wood seems to come back up to its to its original place, then fix itself. And then I test it again. Seems fairly sturdy. And I continue on. Like anyway? Hmm. So where do you learn things like that anyway? So, nodding his head towards the mending she just did. Well, uh, mostly I've done a lot of reading, and then I try to put it to practice. And from there, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a, a repetition, like sharpening a blade, if you will. Though it, it, it usually depends on what I'm trying to mend. Something like. Seem to make uh, it look pretty easy. <laughs> Not saying it is, but. Something like wood. It's it's okay easy. Something like maybe cloth, a bit more complex. The more worked the material is, the more. Um, work I have to put in to try and make it connect, if you will. I could never get my head around picking it up from books. <laughs> nope, but 
to me, you just don't feel, you don't feel it. Don't. Sort of gesturing vaguely with his hands in some vain attempt to explain his point. Well, different people have different methods, and much like you and I are sort of of the same blood in some aspects, we are very different. Yeah, well, results are results. That's true. Though, in my eyes, how you get those results and what means you use usually defines how good it is. Well, at this rate, we should probably have this sorted. Mm. There's a gust of wind in from Dragon's Mouth Bay, which sort of um, makes the bridge sway a bit, and it's a bit unnerving. I'm gonna hold the edge and by reflex sour a bit, like stabilizing. So I imagine I've been, that's what he's sort of been doing part of the time, like while she's been testing it, sort of stabilizing and helping and stuff. Yeah. Dark wind. Yeah, it's, it's quite something. Yeah. Not sharp and back home. Comes over the dudes, it's fine. So you continue uh, you continuing to work on this bridge, yeah? Yep. yep. Okay, go on to the others. Yeah. See what they're doing if you if you want. Yep. Uh back over to, to the rest of you. What are you guys doing? Uh, I'm sitting there just watching with interest. <laughs> Neil's been a um cobalt Eskimo. Oh yeah, the tiny little fucking frozen lizard. <laughs> she can go in the car, you know. I mean, I imagine she's in the cart. It's just still cold. Know. Yeah. 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 yeah so Someone's just kind of watching with interest, kind of just watching Sal. Like basically, like every two seconds, casting like a spell that usually lasts longer, like takes longer. So, so Siren's yeah. watching with keen interest. Mm-hmm. That's that's some cool shit. Meanwhile, I'm just waiting for something interesting to happen. I cast okay. Mend on Bob. I'm just kidding, I don't. <laughs> Mend Bob. His clothes look better. Uh, his face does. Like, I, I, I press digitate Bob clean. He's he's like a new man. Um, Save for um, the dead part of him. Uh, so... Look at Bob. Elby falls in the gorge. How dare you. <laughs> um... So, so yeah, so Siren is, like, she's watching, but she also has Bob on lookout. Okay. So yeah, I guess we'll continue to work on the bridge. Don't know okay. how long it's going to take, because I don't know how long the bridge um, it is. I'll, I'll say, for the, for the next, um, for the next, I'll say, might take quite a while. I'll, I'll say, for the next hour or so, make another investigation check. That's a big bridge. It's, right. a, it's, a, fa it's a fairly big bridge, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, your head's we'll up. Also, <clears throat> we'll you're taking it really slow. Yeah. And don't worry, his hands are where they should be. <laughs> uh, advantage as usual. Yep. Mm -hmm. Two craftsmen are working on the bridge. Nice. 21. Nice. Another 19. <laughs> so why does why is the 19 gra grayed out compared to? Because it was rolled with advantage. Ah. Uh, it takes yeah, the higher. It does that, but that is so fun. as you kind of continuously inch your way across this, uh, this very, very, very wide rope bridge, um, you do see a few bits of frayed rope here and there, a few, you know, a few knots that have kind of se seem to have untied themselves over the, over the years and just barely hanging on by a thread. And you, uh, you, you, you mend that shit, and it, 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 it's like it's brand new. Can you imagine doing this without eye. mending? <laughs> I mean, I can. I well, yeah, we can, but it would have taken off. so fucking long. Well, the, 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 again, the, the, it looks like these these rope bits are frayed and on the verge of snapping. And, uh, you, you see a few few other few other kind of um, molded uh, bridge planks that uh, they're kind of cracked in a few places. You you go over, you 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 mend that quite easily. 
so and so uh, it uh, takes like an hour, hour and a half, right? Yeah. At, at some at some point, uh, the rot kind of uh, gets the better of the the plank of wood that your your foot kind of sits upon, and it gives way, and it cracks in and and you uh, beneath your foot, and it plummets two hundred feet down. But mm. with uh, but with your with, with your quick reactions, just about managed to save yourself from following the plank of wood down into the gorge. And you hear just you just about hear the distant splash of the wood falling into the rapids. Looks <sighs> like so you might you might have to be careful on on that one. Didn't want to try patching that or hope for the best. Because we can uh, probably find some wood or something. I Maybe can't I can't patch that up. The material fell down. I mean, I but you do have like a shit ton of wood. How uh, yeah, how big is the gap wood. between planks? Uh, the gap between planks is about uh, I'll say it's, it's it's about a foot. No, not not too bad. I thought it might have been big planks where it might have been a huge gap. But yeah, these are, these are, these are these are very these are very very long planks. So the, the the bridge itself, I should have said, it's about um, it's about it's about uh, ten feet wide. So it's, it, assumedly, eventually, we we sort of do what we can with it. Yeah. And I see that gap will probably be fine as long as nobody steps in. <laughs> yeah, I imagine we'll sort of make our way back over, uh, mm. make our way over, and then sort of finish up that bit. Yeah. A little concerning. <laughs> oh really? Just yeah. A little. I mean. A little, yeah. You know what? It'll probably be fine. Uh, I feel like we should probably fix that gap. Oh yeah. Um. Actually, yeah. Thinking about it, I I go back. I have to go back on that because he is a perfectionist. He wouldn't leave something like that. So. Uh, are there any sort of this sort of obviously cold, very arid area? It's not going to have many trees or woods. Not many it? trees. No. Any at all? Uh, you do see the occasional, you know, sparse bits of, uh, s you know, I would say like uh, like arm thin sort of trees, not not very suitable for for planks, so to speak. Is the is the weather still like overcast? Uh, you, you can you can see it's starting to the sun's starting to shine a bit, uh, uh, starting to shine through a bit. Why don't we it's just? Good. It's the occasional break in the cloud. So we get we're getting to the other end. We, I figured that the other we're at the other end. Uh, they sort of look it over. And I'm just gonna go. Right, I think I need to work on something to patch that hole. Um, so sort of pats her shoulder in the sort of job well done sort of sense. Hmm. As uh, should probably end up back on over. I um, don't know. Probably a good time to get some food while I work on this. What do you think? Um, I think you're right. Right. Careful on the way back over then. <laughs> so, yes, we, we eventually make our way back over. How long would it take to naturally cross this? Uh, maybe if we would you, have had an idea crossing it ourselves. If you're being careful, um, about about two or three minutes to cross over, just kind of inching our way across. <clears throat> right, so we return from the other side. Yeah. Hello from the other side. So how does it look? looks mostly stable now. There's some parts that fell, but I do believe Vellum has that covered. Yeah, I'll need a bit to work on it though, if the weather allows. Mm. So you said it was starting to clear up, Jenna, right? Yes. There's a, there's, there's, there's a, there's a few party there's, there's a few uh, a bit of parting in the clouds, and uh, you see the, the 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 weather's starting to clear up. Right. Well, Vellum's going to start 
getting his forging equipment ready, like, you know, the usual sort of off the back of the cart dealy. Yeah. And hopefully by the time he's got all that sorted, it will have cleared up, but mm -hmm. you know, he wants to be ready for it if it does. And it, 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 it does somewhat cle clear up, yes. Well, uh, everyone else can sort of chit chat and such because he's going to be okay. working on stuff. And I'm uh, basically, Jenner, what um, Vellum's doing is I've got three shitty iron ingots from that one goblin cave a while back. I yeah. figure if I knock them all together and sort of elongate them, the iron is sturdy enough to work as a sort of bridging point. Hmm. Sort of, not as a whole plank, but sort of something that can be, that can have weight on it. Yeah, I. Doable? Interesting idea. Oh, uh, sure. Because I figure an ingot is about the size of like a big chocolate bar. You get three of those end to end, meld them together, and it'll be sort of then sort of yeah. lengthening. Anyway, okay. Uh, that's what uh, he's going to just uh, make a. Uh, what? Uh, hang on. With your, I'll say make make a make a check with your smith's tools. Okay. Uh, I'll say this is dexterity because I'm trying to sort of do it without breaking it, like making it long enough but not so mm. long it sort of has issues. That seem, does that seem accurate to you, Junior? Um. Or would you rather I do like a constitution? Strength. I'll just. Those are the three. I'll... Strength, dex, or con. Is, uh... I'll say. Make a dexterity check because you're trying to make this as thin as you can without. Potentially well, having it still, snap you know, in two. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Fourteen. Fourteen. I mean, it it looks adequate. Looks like it could do the job, but you'll have to wait and see. So, yeah, I have to wait and wait. see. I mean, so I, I it's a got ten. A lot of so it's a ten foot. The bridge is ten feet wide. The plank is a foot thick gap. Well, I'm not, I'm not planning on flattening it out so it acts as a plank. I'm sort of making it one long piece. Imagine like an iron bar, a crude iron bar. No, I mean, I understand that. Oh, right. I'm just... Like, I don't know if you have that amount of... Well, I'm not saying it'll it'll do the whole thing. I'm saying I can MacGyver something together with it. Because it's either that or getting some inferior quality wood that I wouldn't really trust the weight of the character. <coughs> so, Why not Saren, just... Saren, upon seeing... Vellum, like working, and since they have nothing to do, she's gonna come over and no, ask him what he what he's doing. So sort of, he's not he's not shirtless this time because the weather's too fucking cold for that. <laughs> uh, he's sort of gonna he's tinking away, working the metal. Basically, he's got prong he's prong and hammer at the moment. He's got the metal and a prong working it. No, she's the, asking what design. he's doing, not like. Like, oh no, I'm painting Smith. the scene for you, my okay. dearie. Uh, anyway, he's going to look so up... So as, as you're making a way, your way across, uh, Siren, the bridge holds. Wait, oh, I thought he was smithing back on the side, on the ground. Uh, it's basically like to the back, behind the car. Like, that's where he Oh, right, right, him. okay, sorry. I, I, I misunderstood. I thought you were smithing on the other side of the bridge. No, no, my bad. I... I meant on like the 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 other side of the cart. I right. Okay. Or something. Sorry about that. And he wouldn't go all the way to the yeah. other side of the bridge. Just the bridge. <laughs> I need some space. <laughs> anyway, all sorry. Space. Sorry for that. I thought I had been I'd made myself clearer. Okay. So anyway, he's gonna sort of he's he's gonna look up and sort of register Siren's uh, presence, but he's not gonna be too pulled away from his work. Yeah. What can I do you for? I'm just wondering what you're doing. There's a bit of a gap in one of the, one of the planks. Mm -hmm. I can Fell see. In the water, so I'm hoping this will be enough with some rope to bridge it. Uh, so he's gonna look at the gap. And Jenner, can you ex can you describe the dimensions of the gap for me again? Uh, right. Uh, hang on. I will. I'll actually draw it. Let me grab my tablet. I mean, okay. If you want, I can doodle up what I sort of imagine it would be. Like. <coughs> so, we'll say. Oh, hang on. on. Yeah, I'm gonna do that actually, just for clarity. Well, Where I mean, is, okay. Jenner's about to do for clarity. Give him a tablet. 
Anyway, carry on. Well, and everybody's getting their tablet. Should I get my tablet now? <laughs> oh, no. Are we doing something? No, I'm just doodling something for the sake of no, uh, better understanding of what I intend to do. Meanwhile, I'm gonna say this. In the halls of justice. Um, Mark, I, I'm loving these uh, little shit posts you're making. <laughs> they are great. I'm gonna do mine in our program so I can better caption it. <laughs> oh my god, I hadn't even checked them. Okay, so it's so they're solid planks. They're ten foot long planks that are a foot wide. Yeah. Okay, and there's a gap in there. So Siren's gonna see him trying to elongate out like a long piece. So we'll say that's the gap there. Okay, so you can see him try to elongate a long piece to try to bridge like as much as you can between the piece, and she's gonna be like, "Can you not just have two smaller strips that are the width of the wheels?" And lay it across. Problem with that is, it puts a lot more strain on the planks around it. As opposed to a normal. Well, in some cases. But it wouldn't. It would diffuse the weight equally among two pieces of wood as opposed to the normal entire weight of the cart on one that happens as it just rolls along. If anything, it makes it less weight applied to each planks. Well, the way I see it is that these will be attached to the rope portion, which are made to take that way. And, uh, sorry, I'm trying to draw while talk. Uh, it's a terrible mistake, but I'm making it. <laughs> I'm gonna draw uh, too. Do it your way. Uh, not saying it's a bad idea, but the the weight will be put on the wood instead of the rope, which is made to take it. Oh, so we're driving the cart along the ropes, not the wood. I don't appreciate your sock. I mean, I that's what you're applying. I'm drawing, I'm drawing shit too. <laughs> so. I have so. it. Okay. Gosh. Yeah, all drawing stuff. So. Okay. Anyway. So yeah, it's like this is what Siren's saying. So this, instead of this the, is very rough, by the way. It will be th like thinner and smaller than that, but that's a, a basic idea. So that's what you were planning on doing. That is what it, what he was in, envisioning. Yes. So two things, the width of the wheels, going across the gap. That's what you, that's what Siren is yeah. envisioning. Yeah, and, and that way, because right now, the cartwheels only ever put weight on a single point inside the wood. So the entire, so the entirety of the weight is di being distributed on a single piece, as opposed they're, to when you're using the gap. Can't even. Well, yes, but, oh god. So, <laughs> it's okay. So here, and, so half the weight is on a single piece of wood, whereas whenever it's on this, half that weight is distributed evenly between two pieces. So if anything, it's a quarter on each plank, the way she's suggesting. You do understand, I mean, I'm not saying you're wrong, but it, I am getting what I mean across, right? It's, it's basically the weight will be taut on these ropes on the ends, attaching to the ropes on the side. So the weight will go into the ropes as opposed to onto the planks. No, I don't understand what you're saying. Well, I put a diagram in the uh, main chat. So you're putting... okay. Obviously it wouldn't be that big, it'd be a bit thinner and smaller, but that's basically what he is going for. So... Since the, all the ro since on a standard rope bridge like this one, like Jenner has doodled, um, the planks are attached to the ropes which are then sort of taut across. So all mm -hmm. the weight from the planks goes into the ropes, which goes into the stone, which is the foundation. Yeah. They go along to the side. These things, like the ropes that are underneath the planks mm -hmm. as support. So yeah. And you're trying to have it attached to... A piece of like, line. Yeah, but 
the weight would still go into the wood, which would then put the weight back on the ropes anyway with the two iron bars or the two iron crosses. Like, it, the, the weight's still going into the ropes. It's going into the ropes where it should be, not into the wood, which it should No matter where, just crossing the bridge, the weight will be on the wood. No matter, just crossing the bridge normally, the weight will be on the wood. Which would then put the weight onto the ropes. Because that's how the... This, so, there's no difference. Like, if you just had a normal... If there was no gap, the, it would have the same effect as if you have the gap with the two iron two iron bars. No, if anything, if you, like, it if would lessen the, the weight across, on the ropes. If you did iron across woods, like you, like, uh, like Saren has mentioned, the weight, the weight that's normally on a plank that would be there is instead distributed to the two adjacent planks, which applies more strain to those planks. No, it requires, it does half the, because the weight is distributed evenly between the two planks. But so the instead planks of having have them, uh, their own weight to carry, along with that weight. No, they don't. <laughs> because as soon as the wheel goes across the middle two, like as soon as like the wheels get to the center of the iron bars, the weight is distributed evenly between the two planks. So they're taking half the weight they normally would from the single cart. As soon as the wheels get back to the normal planks, they're taking the full brunt of the weight. It's not distributed evenly between the two planks. In interest of uh, not talking about this for like half an hour, uh, I recommend time. that our characters have their own opinions on this matter and then we proceed. How okay. You feel about that, <laughs> That's fine. Saren's also going to point out the fact that since you have the gap and it's being suspended between two wheels, if the wheel slips between the gap, the iron bar is most likely going to shift, and you're just going to be have open air beneath it. Well, they will have a difference of opinions. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> back into right. the character. Well, I've been out there and seen it, and this is what I think is best. I mean, if it ends up being that you're right, then that's fine, but... I know the strain of metal, and I know the strain of... Ding, ding, ding. Okay. Saren's gonna walk back. Uh, to Balthazar, sit down, and just kind of drug. So what are you doing? Well, I'm still going to work on that because yeah, he needs to spend time with it. Was okay. Else? Sorry again about that. Balthazar's just kind of going to look slowly from Siren over uh, uh, Bellum. You have a good talk then? <laughs> As he has taken out some of the the trail mix they've assorted of, of bacon and biscuit bits, and he's just been having a snack watching this conversation the entire time. So mark off, uh, just mark off um, two two honeyed rations of bacon on the. Well, oh, no, yeah, like a ration is for a whole day. <laughs> oh right, yeah, you're right, right. My bad. Just snacking. Yeah. So he's he's just yeah, eating just, part of the ration. Yes. Yeah, so he's just eating part of, of his daily ration, having a snack. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of these fucking ingots that I've had in my inventory for the entire campaign. So. Oh great. Yeah. <laughs> it could have been used. To, I don't know. The next. Um... Help make my armor. Do you want <laughs> inferior quality iron included in your armor? I don't know for clasps or some shit when you're resizing it. <laughs> Anyway, so the next uh, so the next couple of hours go by as as Velim's kind of ting 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 uh, tinking away behind the uh, behind the caravan. Eventually, he uh, he emerges with what looks like uh, th this long bar of of kind of uh, ru rudimentary forged iron. It's, a bit, it's, a, it's very very thin with sort of loops on the edges. Right. Uh... So how do you mind giving me a hand? It's good to have two people out there in case, you know, the wind picks up again. Sure. The BRB. 
No, nope. duck's back. Hey. <laughs> okay. So as you inch your way out to to, to the uh, to the middle of this bridge where the gap is, I need uh, I'll say, um, who's who's actually attaching it in place? Um, that's a good question, actually. <laughs> I think it might be an idea to go with what happened before with like Sao doing it in development. Okay. Because I think she's he's sort of just been working away and his hands might not be best for it. I'll moment. say she's been I'll say hands. make a check with your tinkers tools. I think Sao's better with her hands with delicate work anyway. Mm. Alright. <clears throat> and uh, since since Vellum's helping you, make it with advantage. Hey! Nice. Nice. So the wind begins to pick. Wind begins to pick up again. A, a, a gust of wind blown in from Dragon's Mouth Bay, and the, and the bridge itself begins to sway and sway a bit. You have to. Yeah, you have a hard time concentrating, but you you power on through. Hold you, uh, that lady steady. You, man you managed to, uh, the, the 27, uh, through the winds, you managed to sec securely fasten this, this bar of, of, of thin iron in place. Right, it's not much, but it should be enough for this one boot. As long as we don't hang about on it. Mm. Nice, right. Should we go let the others know we're ready to go, or? We want to yeah. rest. I think it's best we get moving. Head on back. Right, so how are we going to do this then? So sort of addressing everyone at this point. Well, I just assumed we would ride the cart across. Are we not going? Well, yeah, but do we want to go one by one? Do we want as few people on it as possible? What do we want to be doing? I figure we should have nobody in the car when it's going across. It's heavy enough as it is. Sounds good. In either yeah. case... Oh, you will. In either case, we should have the least amount of people on the card while it's going across to lessen the weight. Exactly. Since cart's pretty much my responsibility, I figure I'll be the one who drives it across. Worst comes to worst, everyone else can go first, and then if it falls, then everyone is already over, so... Ain't too bad. What do you think? Sarah's gonna walk across. Okay. So, thankfully, uh... Uh, because... Because you, you you two have uh, have worked on this so much, this is going to be an incredibly low DC check for this. So I'll say, make a dexterity check, uh, Siren. If you all fail, it's save. your own fault. <laughs> we did or... all we could. Well, I, I, would... hmm. I mean, it's the same either way. I'm just curious for people that it might not be. Uh, me. I, I mean, I I would usually classify saves as you know uh, immediate danger, but you're not in in. Okay. Like it, so, like uh, an acrobatics it, check then, just no, to maintain. No, not an, uh, I'll say just just a straight dexterity check. You know, just so just so you know where where to uh, plant your your hooves, uh, where it'll uh, where you know that it won't give. No twelve. Well, you uh, make your way across, no issue. I'm just kind of just standing there, just like arms crossed, watching. Well, off you lot go then. I'll get this ready. I and guess Neil will go next. Yeah. Then I'm going to start tying things down and make sure everything's secure. And make sure all his, all his essentials are in his backpack, and not in the carriage, just in case it does go up. Oh, I know. Wrong thing. Dexterity check. Dexterity check. 13. Again, you make your way across, no issue. Because you are slowly 
Sluggishly. Uh, added bonus because you are you are uh, incredibly light. I'm tiny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Small light. Now Balthazar is just looking at this rickety ass rope bridge. Like a thin metal strip to help support it, and he's just. Well, it's only on that one. Uh, um, I'm afraid my muscular frame will be too much for this meager bridge. <laughs> <laughs> How's my Balthazar? <laughs> Sorry, carry on. Uh, uh, dexterity guess. check. Yeah, yeah, just a yeah, straight yeah, dexterity next. check. <clears throat> Alright. <laughs> just looks at it. I swear if I die to this. Don't jinx yourself. Why'd you jinx yourself? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pesos. here we go. So as you're as you're uh, as you're kind of looking around, trying to deftly place your your hooves um in 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 proper in in the in the proper places where you think the wood is is a, a, a less less rotten, less uh, less cracked than 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 other you know, planks of wood that. Uh, the uh, dynamic duo have been fixing. Uh, you you misjudge a step, and the rock gets the better of the plank of wood your your hoof sits upon. It gives way, cracking beneath your foot, and it plummets down two hundred feet. It's that fucking Achilles hoof again. <laughs> and you l you lose your balance, and you fall with it, but just barely manage to grab onto the edge of the wood planks. But you are you are hanging there by your fingers, unable to pull yourself up. You can feel the plank you're holding onto beginning to creak treacherously with the sudden impact of the of the weight all now focused in this one place around your hand. Ooh, and you, how and far you, in is he when this happens? Uh, he is he is about. I'll, I'll mark it here. He's about. If if he's closer to one end than the other, then yeah, I think it's gonna go on. Um, uh, because it was a natural one, I it, it didn't get far. <laughs> okay, good. Gronk has got him. Yeah, I gotta just kind of. Do you just Wilhelm scream? <laughs> uh, he will if Gronk doesn't save him. Yeah, Gronk is gonna like tie himself to like this pole here, the rope, and then he's gonna go out and get the fancy ass. <laughs> the fancy ass. Yeah. Grab my yeah. hands, but don't tear my coat. <laughs> Gurk gonna. If I'm going to die, I'll oh, die fabulous. <laughs> Gurk gonna look. Yeah, Gurk gonna looks down at him and rolls his eyes and grabs his hands. <laughs> That'll be a strength check, I guess. Don't tell the business. Uh, or a that'll, save. That'll be, or... Uh, I'll. I'll. Uh, that'll. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll say that would be. Uh, that would be a. Say strength or athletics, because he is pulling him. I think. Yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah. Just make a general athletics check, because this is this is this is a he Balthazar's a heavy boy. Yeah. All that gold in his fucking. Yeah. <laughs> Twenty-four also have a plus six on athletics, so. Twenty-four. You you pull him up without much issue, just just yeah. just about as as the plank gives way. Yeah. We're just gonna. Yeah, you're just gonna walk him over to the other side. <laughs> <laughs> I picture him hunched over like a grandma. I'm like, okay, it's okay, it's okay. Grunk is here. Grunk is here. It's, it's, it's not, you're not gonna so fall. So, are you? So, this is where everyone started out, and this is where everyone's going to end up. Are you? Are okay. you taking him from here to here? Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay. I'll Come. say since. Uh, I'll, I'll say one. One of you roll roll um, dexterity check with advantage because. Uh, one of you is helping out the other. All right. That's a twelve. A twelve. <laughs> so glad you had that advantage. <sighs> yeah. I like a my 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 one is still a four. That could have that, that could have ended very badly. Oh yeah. <laughs> so yeah. inch inch by inch, you <laughs> you slowly make your way across the bridge. To safety. Siren is just. Balth Balthazar looks. 
Balthazar looks a little bit shaken. <laughs> a little. Oh, it I'm just too giggly now. Just, just, oh, that, just narrowly avoided death there. I will say. Doodling <laughs> 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 of Balthazar. What have we learned today, brother? I've learned that I'm going to smite you if you don't shut your mouth. <laughs> oh. Oh, uh, uh, oh. The real lesson we've oh, learned. Remember. Don't use rope bridges. <laughs> okay, so who's going next? I believe Sal's the only one left because Velen's got to go over with the car. Yep. So you over there. <clears throat> Actually, um, I will say, you feel free to just drag your tokens on me instead of, like, doodling. <laughs> yeah, I think that's more for their fun than anything else. Yeah. So, Balthazar's over there now. So it's Grunker, so is Siren. Over here with the so I'm gonna do a dex roll, right? Just a straight dexterity check. This is this is so you know where to kind of definitely put your, put your feet. Where there's, like, lack of rot, <laughs> lack of cracks. <laughs> Go team, death to bridge. <laughs> uh. So you you get a bit further oh, no. than Balthazar before another another plank gives way out from your feet. And, you missed and you, so many planks. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna rush over and try and help her because obviously Vellum's closer. You get about you get about here. Oh, just God. just just before. Just before the, the 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 it's it's the it's the plank before the iron, the iron um, uh, rod there. The bit that's now gone. The 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 iron rod has not gone though. No. It's it's the plank just before that. <laughs> See, told you we shouldn't have put weight on that. <laughs> okay, you... so yeah, I I'd, I'd like to. Velen's gonna try and fucking grab Sal before she plummets. Okay, make an athletics check. Uh, I well, would like to do this, this with is... inspiration. <laughs> Good call. Yep. So what is it again? Sorry. Uh, if if uh, so so your. What role Actually, are they yeah. making? I mean. Yeah, this this would be an athletics check. I'll, I'll I'll be consistent here. Um, yeah, just roll athletics uh, with your inspiration. Yep, with inspiration. It was a waste, but a necessary waste. <laughs> so thirteen. You just about managed to grab it, hand. Come on, you're not falling. <sighs> I sure hope not. You you can feel you can feel the, the the planks beginning to crack underneath your feet, uh, Vellum, as you as you are kind of struggling to hold on, put, just putting more weight onto the onto the planks there. So once she's up, I'm gonna sort of take as much weight as I can off that plank because I have to okay. go otherwise. Mend it. You're right to go across. You guys should hurry up. Let's just get across. Go. I'll see you in a sec. He's gonna, he's gonna wait until she moves away because you know he, he's a little hesitant about sort of leaving. Sam's gonna call out, "Man, the plank!" Go on, go. There ain't time to mending shit. I mean, as soon as like the time to stop or the time to beat disappears as soon as you mend it. Right, now, now I was going to save my inspiration for driving the cart across. <sighs> well, more important to save Sam. Right, so I guess I'm going to make sure everything is as it should be. I've got all my essentials in my backpack in case I do need to mm -hmm. abandon ship. <laughs> and I'm going to start leading the cart across. Okay. I'm not so... buckled in or anything, so I can jump off if I choose to. <laughs> but we'll lose the horses. Well, yeah, but the I'm... horses, as as you kind of mount mount up the cart and kind of uh, wh uh, wh whip the reins for the for the horses to to move forward, they seem a bit nervous. Uh, Raven kind of steps on the boards, immediately backs off, and gives a sort of nervous whinny and a shake of her head. So I try and reassure them. <coughs> All right, them make an animal hand animal handling check. Oh, let's see what my modifier is in this. Oh. Two. Oh. Mm, real life. Oh. Remember I have it. Oh. 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 No fucking mind. I am the horse whisperer, apparently. Or is it still fly? 
Raven, oh, God, right. Raven and Bill, they both immediately seem to calm down, kind of re reassured by your by your voice. Easy, girl. nice and slow now. It's and thank right. thankfully, animal handling was what you needed to get across. Oh my God! <laughs> so yeah. Oh my God! I'm so happy. <laughs> so inch by inch, you just narrowly managed to to kind of cross. A, your way across the bridge you f you you hear the kind of creaking and and kind of cracking of the wood from from this end as the wheel seems to kind of jam in places where where the planks are no longer missing but since it's one foot wide you get, you kind of push the ho push raven and bill forward a bit more and it kind of Yanks the wheel out of the gap. And you carry on. Eventually, after some very, very tense moments, you do uh, you do manage to feel the kind of clank of the iron against the wheel. <laughs> He's gonna sort of pull it up, in like a good distance away from the uh, from the, <laughs> from the bridge, and then just. <sighs> Thankfully, uh, thankfully, I rolled an 18 for that uh, for the integrity of that iron. Oh, and it does just about manage to get it across. <sighs> and eventually, the rest of your party and you meet on the other side. Let's not that was... for a while. That was very <laughs> unnerving. <laughs> that could have gone. A, that could have gone very badly. With three ones, As yes, it could have. Shows. It's about dead. Oh, I'm so. I was so glad when you said that that was the roll I needed to do to make it, because I felt like if I made another roll, I would have crit failed. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> that's the dichotomy of the die. The die giveth and they taketh away. In fact, I'm gonna roll it now just to see if I would have. Oh, a seven. <laughs> oh, nope. So, oh, so happy. That would have been so bad. So, you recover with the uh, threats of losing yourselves and the carriage and Raven and Bill now behind you. Bill. Do you mean to name him Bill? And you take a I moment to you take a moment to recover and recompose yourselves. The the adrenaline pumping gradually subsiding. So you take a sigh of relief. The name of Bill. better be easier than that. That was certainly something. <laughs> Let, uh, mm. oh, yeah. oh, well, there goes Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Bob does not make it, unfortunately. With his with his lumbering gait, he just steps. He, he steps straight through a gap. He kind of yeah. he he kind of lazily holds onto the onto the side of the planks, but just slips off. He falls. Yeah. Oh, I wish I had a DC got a bit higher. Bill. He falls. He falls. He falls 200 feet into the river below. There's a there's a subtle sploosh in the rapids. That could have got much worse. Yeah, that uh, that DC that DC that dexterity DC you needed to beat was 10. B. You know. That was actually about perfect. I could not have seen that going any better, except for the fact that a few of us almost fell. And again, that two two natural ones in a row, <laughs> and then a crit. Save the day. Oh, right. he, he is sort of looking towards Balthazar and Sal, but more so Sal because you know, he was more directly involved with with the safety. You're right. I'm fine. My pride is a bit hurt, but I'll live. Well, you mouth. You're right. He's just gonna look back to that bridge. The planks, the planks around you know, you it, around. Should have just put down the strips. The planks around this area just look completely wrecked. Did he just try and blame Velen's handiwork for it? 
<laughs> Should have put I... down the strips on the plank that was nowhere near me when I fell. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I love ego, it's so amazing. The ego. Right, that's, that's a move. Yeah. Gurnka kinda looks at the map and sees what, what way they're supposed to go. Uh, Where are we going? I can show you. Give me a second. Oh, that was you all asking Gronka. <clears throat> Gronka will show you. Yeah. Oh, that's a big ass map. That's yeah. a fucking huge map. Yeah. So, you guys are. Oh, I geez. will. I will see. You guys are around. Over here. Around here. Oh, hey. That's cool. Yeah, whoa, whoa, this is whoa. this is this is awesome. spiffy. This. Oh yeah, it is. This is yeah. boss's hell. Ah, we're over here. Yeah. Oh, we're so teeny. We are teeny. Oh, would well, you look I mean, at that? We're already there. The whoa. Wow, we've come a long way. Feels like a long way. That probably is. Mm, I mean, I mean we're like halfway there. there. Quite quite a few yeah. days of travel have gone by. Yeah, we're like we're like halfway there. Yeah, I, I will say this, Janner, mm -hmm. props for this map and how it looks because this Jesus, is basically yeah, like... this is a game world map. This isn't just a map for a world. No, this is legit something you'd see in a game when you open up a map. Exactly. Yeah, like, it's really nice. Oh, uh, one second. Uh, I, I've I've messed up the stream thing. Hang on. Gotta sign out, sign back into the stream view. Because apparently uh, alt and uh, alt and scroll wheel does like backwards and forwards shit. Hmm. So I'm using Firefox now instead of Chrome. Chrome has uh, scorned me too much in the past. The score. Oh my god, that was tense. <laughs> that was fucking tense. I panicked so much when Sal was gonna go over. I was like, she's got good deck, she'll be fine. One. <laughs> yeah, my dex is, I think, my second highest stat. Yeah. And I was worried because Velum is very evenly spread. I don't know if he'd had the strength to be able to pull her up very well. And... Wait, is is this twelve your high next highest stat? No, uh, my highest stat is a sixteen. Then I have uh, two fourteens. Oh okay. right, fourteen. Yeah, I forgot that. It's so basically, that's where you, you guys are. <clears throat> So head, back very... yeah. head back over. Head back over to them. We're evaluating yeah. our lives. Mm -hmm. yeah, I wasn't too worried because I have danger sense. But... <laughs> I'm sure you'd be fine, yeah. If anyone's yeah. gonna be fine, it's Grunka. So. Grunka be fine. Grunka carry a big crying man over a bridge. <laughs> Walls. So, it's with great. the threat of. with the threat of death. Now behind you, you uh, carry on, set out for the next leg, the next leg of, of your journey. As uh, night begins to fall once more, uh, your remaining travels for the day take you quite a bit of ways northward before you set up camp once again under the series of barren trees, kind of tucked in an out of the way crevice of the kind of rock off a beaten path. Uh-oh. Hmm. I I'm still a bit stunned about how badly we rolled. So I, I don't know what to do, actually. Poor Vellum's stunned in general. He's never had to deal with crevasses like this before. <laughs> and the tension of riding a carriage over it. He's still a little reeling. 
as evident by his body language. <laughs> Yeah, this was, uh, this was an ordeal. Was that Balthazar is still picking splinters out of his fingers. So is this like night now, we're all sort of in the... Yeah, I'm just trying to... I don't know saying, just fuck so up with Sirenscape. It's fine, yeah. just for context's sake, so we can have conversation. Yeah, it's, it's, it's currently, so night, currently night time. Been, Velen would have sort of avoided being on the cart during the... The remainder of the day. <laughs> Just, you know, a little less of that. <sighs> you wouldn't think crossing a bridge would be that. Ah, oh, stop it. No. That I bridge was horribly made. Nah, I wouldn't say horribly made, but horribly maintained. Can you imagine what would have happened if we hadn't touched that up? Um, I would sure rather that not. Fallen. <sighs> Shed his moment. Well, we're alive. Looks like you can ask for. Yes! Yeah. We are. <laughs> What's that <Atlas>. giggle? <laughs> Atlas. Ah. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Hiya. So. <clears throat> if it's alright with any of you, um, I think I'll take the first watch. I'm okay right. with that. Yeah. You're in a couple of takes, the one. In the, the darkest rest. night. That was in character, by the way. Yeah. I'll Kirk also will... take a watch. I yeah. don't really care when. Yeah, Kirk will take the one that's in the middle of the night. Yeah, he can have his usual one, just usually because it's different. Valence is like, I need a bit more time. Fucking okay, Siren Escape! It's fine, no stress. We can have a nice conversation while technical difficulties. Yeah, if um if anyone wants to use the, the carriage while I'm up, then that's fine. I'll be up a bit. And Neil sluggishly makes a way over. Warms. Yeah, Zarin so just kind of. Snuggles her in, like in between her and Baldur. <laughs> is is Nero going for her place, or is she going for the carriage? She went for the carriage. It's nice oh. and warm. Okay. Especially yeah. when there's people in there. Well, Are it's we only all it's in not a carriage? big bed, so you know. Just be mindful. Hey, if she wants to go for the carriage, that's fine. But remember, I <laughs> sleep in my pimp tent. Yeah. I don't think three of you could fit in the one bed, even if you did smudge it. Yeah, we could. He has like a... <clears throat> he has like a double. Yeah, I have a two-person person tent. tent. And that is half of a person. No, It'd I mean, be a little the, bit uh, cramped. Oh, you mean I in mean, your I cart? Mean in, the, in, the, in the car. Oh. Yeah, I don't fucking stay in your cart. Well, Not overnight. I'm saying about near I travel in it, though. It's a good cart. Yeah. Okay, I'll go yeah. to it be having internet issues. Well, you're still connected with us, so... Back to doing the thing! Yeah. Uh, Velen's sort of just staring at the fire. I assume we have a fire going, because it'd be stupid not to in this weather. Yeah, you would hear a campfire, except, uh... You know... <laughs> Gender, it's fine. It's no stress. Sound is nice for ambience, but, you know... Don't feel like it takes over your life, sort of thing. But yes, yeah, Velim is sort of weird idly here. staring into the fire. Not stunned or like in complete paralysis or anything like that, but just sort of, yeah, decompressing. 
Yeah, we did have a, have a moment of nearly dying. It happens. Yeah, I keep hearing that. Guess I thought something simple like a bridge wouldn't be anything you could end your life over. Hmm. There's a lot of things in this world that can end your life quite easily. Indeed. Yeah, things you can expect. Though. Like a sword mm. or a beast or... Did we expect a bone cracking? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Uh... Good times. Warmer times. <laughs> Despite the fact that Velen isn't exactly dressed warmly, he's sort of not really responding to the cold at the moment. Okay then. <laughs> Sao is also sort of gathering herself up again. It's <laughs> two of them just staring at the fire. My god. <laughs> yeah. Kukus probably at the top of the cart again, looking around. Making sure. By the way, I may have to grab my food, depending on when it gets here. Mm -hmm. It'll be within the like, next 20 minutes, but I'll only be gone like a minute. Sure. Okay. All right. Just make, making sure Webby's warm. Feeding him, doing all that stuff. Why do you have that thing around still? Ah. Points of the spider. That thing. Oh. Uh. He's good buddy. Yeah. You're disturbing. No. Huh. Yeah. Okay then. I'll leave you with that. Yeah. Uh, well, let me know when night starts if everyone's done chatting or Jenner's technical difficulties have stopped. <laughs> Uh, every single fucking browser that, that I use just doesn't want to load up Sirenscape. I think it's a problem with their servers. Yeah, it definitely would be if that's the case. Well, I mean, it's not the end of the world. We'll just have a bit of time where there's no music or less music. Mm-hmm. Nothing to get overly stressed over, Jerry. It's okay. These things happen. To be fair, we did just have a bit of a scare of our life. So, character? some characters, yeah. That would have been the second time I would have fallen off a mountain. I don't think I li would have lived through that one. Well, at least you would have hit the water, albeit at a high rate of speed. Yeah, I, that was a pretty long fall. That would have been. That would have been bad. Yeah, yeah, it would be. Very, very bad. <clears throat> so it is currently night time right now. I will say, okay. uh, everyone make a perception check. Well, Vellum's first watch, because he wants to stay up a bit longer to... Mm -hmm. Compile his thoughts. So it's in. So what order is it? Just so we know. I know. I'm always on last watch. And Grunk is on darkest, and who's second? That'll be me. That then I guess. Well, after Vellum's is basically gonna sort of, sort of tiredly, like drained. He's gonna 
Well, assuming nothing goes wrong in his watch, he's gonna sort of go in and sleep. But I'm gonna bear back because my food's here. I'm connected back to Janner 3D and Sirenscape. Yeah. Are you experiencing any um, technical difficulties as well? Well, like I noticed, like the online player, like the little, uh, the mini player was like dark and there was like a red question mark so like underneath game master so i disconnected started up again put the pin back in and uh they connected i'm not hearing anything but i think that's also probably because you're not playing anything right now yeah i'm not playing anything i'm not playing anything right now i'm also currently reconnecting to it yeah might have just been a, a blink in their servers oh it's a very very long blink or yes well, server blanks are notoriously longer than normal blanks. Indeed. Yeah. Feel free to talk amongst yourselves while uh, while I sort this out, because um, this is this is incredibly fucking frustrating. I mean, if this is if this is a persistent thing, I'm probably going to find another audio service. Bad times. Mm. <clears throat> <clears throat> So who is who is on watch now? Velum was first. Velum was first. Mm. Maybe 